Hello children, are you all enjoying the online studies? Well, today we will be starting the second chapter of our literature book that is a letter from a father to his daughter. It is a letter written by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru when he was there in Nani jail on the 13th birthday of his daughter Indira Gandhi. Children, before I start with the explanation of the chapter, I would like to ask you few questions. How do you celebrate your birthday? How do you feel when you receive gifts? If your parents were in another city and instead of material gifts, they just send you a letter or card showering their love and blessings, would you value such a gift and be happy equally? Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru sent this letter to his daughter when he was there in Nani jail which is a collection of 30 letters. Through these letters, he tried to teach her about the natural history and the story of civilization. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru addresses to his daughter and explains the reason why he was not able to send any material gift on her birthday. Instead, he writes a letter to send his wishes and blessings. He writes that he could send only good wishes in abundance and gifts, which were only of the mind and spirit. He further said that he hated sermonizing and doling advice. He believed in the value of having extensive discussions instead. During the course of discussion, certain truth usually comes out. Discussions are always the best mode to find out what is right and wrong, what is good and bad. He adds that the world in which we are living is very fast and there is a lot for us to learn. He goes on to add that all knowledge is not confined to this world alone. There is many there are many words remain unexplored and which equally loaded with knowledge. And because knowledge is so vast and unending that a keen learner can never get bored. There can never be a situation where one can say that he or she has acquired the, all the knowledge. A letter is a one-sided affair, whereas a talk is a face-to-face -face between two people. But presently, Nehru would have to write a letter only. He said that through this letter, he was going to give her many suggestions and ideas which could serve as food for thoughts. If you would go through the word's history, then we would come to know that every nation at one time or another faced the difficult time. At such times, the ordinary people of world performed heroic acts and great sacrifices. Nehru gave the example of the story of John of Arc, how a simple and pleasant girl rose to the occasion and created history. He reminds Indra about her feelings and inspiration after reading the book. He says, never underestimate the power of a man and woman who appear to do nothing heroic about their day-to-day -day needs. Such people creates history at the time of emergency. Nehru goes on to talk about a leader who loves his people and wanted to remove the sufferings in their life. He was so much loved by his people that they were ready to do anything for him. Such was his greatness that he could turn ordinary men and women into heroes. Children, do you know who was this man? This man was none another but Mahatma Gandhi. That's all for today. The remaining part of the chapter will be explained in the next video. Thank you.